At Wrigley, Cubs and Cards in the he fog. Play candidate. Second inning. Ray Langford on first. Take it off. Langford got this one stolen into the base safely. But off the base now. Kangaroo court can be harsh, but he was two for four in the ninth. Cubs up 6-3. Power versus power. Rod Beck, Mark McGuire. Got him. Not a bad pitch, but McGuire powers one out. Two-run home run. His 12th of the year. Big Mark, one for two. He was walked three times. 6-5 Cubs on top. Later in the ninth. Langford with a single, Mackey Willie McGee up, hits his one deep to center, center, but Brent Brown is there and runs out of room, short of the Ivy. And well, Rod Beck going into Philly. It'll be raining throughout, top of the fourth. Shane Reynolds up at bat, up, gets away. And Ricky Gutierrez is going to come around and he's going to score. 5-2 Astros up on top, but Terry Francona arguing, hey, it was a foul ball. Take another look. Was it fouled off? Yeah, it was fouled off. Was it ruled that way? Shakadier. Billy Coach, he'd get tossed. Francona, he'd be tossed. Top of the fifth, Derek Bell rocking one out. Sixth home run of the year. He was three for five, two RBIs. He's hitting 421. Astros take it with the arguments. And have to let Mo Vaughn, hello, against Sealy in the bottom of the first. Aaron struck out eight Red Sox. Bottom of the second, one nothing Rangers. Sox have runners on first and second. And Darren Bragg gets rid of the zero on the scoreboard for Boston. That's a three-run homer. And the Sox out in front, 3-1. Still the third. Fans get in. Still 3-1. And Texas has a runner on second and third with two out. Will Clark, the blooper that'll bring home Tom Goodwin and Mark McLemore. We're tied at three, and Saberhagen left after three with groin discomfort. In the sixth, tied at three. Sox with a runner on first, and Troy O'Leary depositing that cow into center field, sixth of the year. Boston takes a 5-3 lead. That'd be the final. Sealy allowed a season high five runs as ER. It's the other and Sutton that's going the to the Hall of Fame. Arabu uh, with just two hits through list. seven and a third innings, but here's one of the hits in the third. Johnny Damon, his first home run since last September. The Royals' last hit of the game. Royals up one nothing. Top of the eighth, bases loaded, one out, score tied at one, and Bernie Williams. Get the fly to center. Chuck Knobloch will tag and score. The Yankees taking a 2-1 lead to the bottom of the ninth. Same score. Mariano Rivera in to close things out against Dean Palmer. He had 26 home runs and 9 RBI in April, but this is May. You're out. Yanks, 2-1 winners as they rally for their 17th victory in 19 games. Irabu combining with two relief. Whoa. He throws over and nearly gets Stewart. Nice move. And then the next attempt, even better. Stewart's picked, and Oakland leads the American League with 10 pickoffs. Tony Hernandez on third, Conseco on first. That third to first thing never works. Oh, somebody forgot to tell Jose Conseco. And they throw home and get Hernandez. Fourth inning, no score. A.J. Hinch. All jacked. He is at the wall. He looks it would be the first of back-to-back -back home runs for Oakland. Yes, it's the animal segment of the show. Oakland has won six straight. Longest win, Hernandez. Bottom of the six, two on, one out. Craig Council, the single off Brown. Derek Lee will come home, 5-3 Marlins. Brown leaves after five and two-thirds and receives the nice ovation from the Marlin fans. Top of the ninth, 5-3 Marlins. Antonio Alfonseca against Wally Joyner. Wally World, number four for Joyner. 5-4 Marlins and Jim Leland a bit worried. Next batter, Greg Vaughn against Alfonseca. Alfonseca, too many names, too few pitches. Vaughn, number six on the season. Tied at five we are. And the next batter is Carlos Hernandez. And hello, Carlos. Look at that one. And the umpire warning both benches after Hernandez flied out. Alfonseca and Hernandez trying to set something up for maybe later on. Bench is empty, no punches, no ejections. Bottom of the 11th, bases loaded. Edgar Renteria. Gee, I seem to remember him doing this before. The hero part, scoring Greg Zahn. And the Marlins 6 5 in 11. Only about 5,000 fans on hand for the start of the game following a rain delay of 2 hours and 28 minutes. Even. Andrew Jones and he did not get cheated on that one and the fan with the nice grab 
3-2 Braves with the lead. Still the bottom of the fourth. Runner on first and Eddie Perez. To third to third and Bill Miller's there to start the 5-4-3 getting Reeder out of the inning. Meanwhile Greg Maddox getting some defensive help. Stan Javier the liner to left and Damon Hollins. Nice grab. Bottom of the seventh Michael Tucker pinch hitting. The drive off Steve Reed to center and Stan Javier cannot make the grab but does help the ball go bye bye. Bottom of the second. Watch out for the foul ball. I am uh, Matt Wallback with the foul. Third base coach Wallace Johnson hurt. Top of the fourth, no score. Meglio Ordonez with the pop. This one into right field. I mean, Mashore and Roberto Martin collide, and it gets away. And Ordonez taking off all the way around to third with a triple. He would later score on a sacrifice fly. A one nothing White Sox with the lead on Anaheim. Bottom of the sixth, two one Angels. Bases are loaded for Darren Erstad. Loaded up and Erstad taking it out. Turned on it. Gone. Grand slam. 6 1 Angels. They go on to win it 7 to 1. Anaheim wins it 7 1. Asagawa perfect in four innings of relief. To first and third and Bartolo Colon against Mike Kelly. The rope to right and Manny Ramirez. Well, he's got a good arm if he can get the ball, but. Quentin McCracken, Dave Martinez coming home. Indian second error of the night. Rays up 3-0. Bottom of the fourth. Cleveland down 4-3. Second and third, and Omar Vizquel pulls Dennis Springer's offering to right. Pat Borders and David Bell coming home. Indians up 5-4. And Cologne, it was strong Cologne. Holding the lead from there against Jerome Walton. And back to Walton Mountain you go, but not before he lets Ken Kaiser, the umpire, know and look, see Ken Kaiser, he is... And Ken what? saying, what? say hi to Mary Ellen and the rest of the Waltons. The Indian saves, and no travel day right back at it against the Tigers. And look out, Higginson, Tomberlin, Catalanato, sack fly. Then, bases loaded in the third. Tomberlin hit by the pitch. Bobaco double to left. Damian Easley double to left center. Tomberlin double to left. Higginson, line shot to right. Bacco, I think, grounder. Yeah, DeGar, and then Brian Hunter, liner in the seventh. Higginson, blue double there, and then they're just smacking him around. Catalanato, Joranda, sack fly, and there's uh, Higginson solo homer. His results, Luis Gonzalez, easily, Tony Clark, Tomberlin, Clark, Gonzalez, easily, Higginson, Tomberlin, not necessarily in any particular order, Al Kaline, Hank Greenberg, Kirk Gibson, Charlie Geringer, the mechanical man, Ty Cobb, and oh, we've seen enough. Can't blame this on the bullpen. Tigers must have heard it. Right back through the box. Off Brad Radke's glove, but Pat Mears is there and gets the job done. To the top of the fourth, two men on. Twins lead 3-2, and Todd Walker, the grounder to second. Robbie Alomar spins to Mike Bordick. The nice double play. Bottom of the sixth, the Orioles still down 3-2, one on, and Palmero in, and you know, children still buy Rafi records, and this Rafi record is a hit. His fourth of the season, Orioles 4-3 at that point. They roll to victory. Getting hits from every star. Mike Piazza, more D for the Buccos. Turner Ward coming up, throwing, and Raul Mondesi out at third. Ward also one for four with a triple. More defense back up the middle, base hit, no. Stop, Tony Womack, and the one hopper got him. All that defense, Pirates though still down 4-1. Bottom of the six now. Now it's tied up at four. Womack up to first. Eric Carlos there, diving stop, throws over. No, no, and a run's going to score. Pirates four runs in the sixth. Womack two for four, by the way, and the Pirates come back, snapping a three-game losing streak. They win this one five to four. Luke, come come the Reds. First inning, one on for Jeff Cirillo. Back up the middle of Barry Lark with the glove to Brett Boone. Got him. Yeah, I'll teach this to the Little League guys this weekend. Look at that. Big league double play and then some. Scott Carl, meantime, getting some ground balls here in the first. Steins, and grounder, down and hard. Willie Green. Dimitri Young, grounded out. That's in the first inning. That's Second inning, Eduardo Perez and Barry Larkin. The he's and then Pat Watkins, ground out, establishing himself as a ground ball pitcher, player. as we do here in the highlights. In the third, Rick Fordyce, Renlinger, Chris Steins, and uh, Willie Green. And then Eduardo Perez, did a double play. Keep the infield warmed up. Keep him happy. Finally in the fifth. 13 straight ground outs for Carl to start the game. Gets win number four, and the Brewers take this one 5-2. to two, Stay percentage points ahead of Houston for the National League Central League.